Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third, where we last left off, we were playing Call of Dutes, apparently, uh, Call of Dutes World at War, but uh, obviously a very unfinished, unpolished alpha build. Yes, yes, let's go with that. So, anyway, uh, what were we actually doing? Eliminate the enemies inside the... <laughs> Could, you know, I mean, hey, cool. Could there be any more of a, a, a generic objective? Kill everybody inside the building. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, let's go. Oh, hey, sir. Oh, yeah, we had rats. Uh, rats? Bats. Oh. Okay, is there a reason these bats are just flying around in a freaking circle? Could we kill them? Mm, not sure. Don't like what they do to the frame rate there. Alright, well, I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. It's more ammo. Alright. I'm guessing... I mean, they kind of look like bats if you squint, but not really. Uh, they look like leaves or something just floating around. Right. Okay, we're not going to keep ragging on the game. We know the game's terrible. Like, literally fucking awful. So let's just get through it. Uh, we don't want to cut you. Harmonica, sure. What, are they actually repeating trophies? Like, didn't we get harmonica like yonks ago? Whilst we glitched through the wall there. Alright, you're dead. Okay, so, not right. So there's some kind of thing <laughs> with that door. I couldn't actually go into my... <sighs> Iron sight mode for some reason. Not until I was a good chunk away from the door. Uh, you know, this game does make you think that your control pad's broken. I know for a fact that this one is not. This one's actually absolutely fine. Um, but hey, I guess this game just makes you question reality in in general. To be honest, more flamethrower guys. That's cool. We can deal with some flamethrower guys. That flamethrower actually has a deceptively large range. Really? There we go. I do like the reload animations um, for the guns in this game. <laughs> they're, they're actually very good. They're probably one of my favourite parts of the game, to be honest. And no, I'm not actually being sarcastic. The reload animations for the guns is pretty satisfying. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I do like me a P90. Uh, can we not... Is that a grenade box? It is a grenade... Oh, secret file too, I guess. Yeah, it's a grenade box. Ooh. Ooh. What's the dev crew team? I guess. There's a 40 millimeter right in front of me. That's awfully convenient. Wait, who who are we killing here? These guys, I guess. Okay. I mean, I guess this is one way to kill a load of dudes quickly. Nobody's gonna even be curious as to why they're all dying. No one's even gonna turn and shoot at us. Really? Holy shit. Take out. Yeah, we're taking them out, gold team. Shit. Not too sure, to be honest, how useful a 40mm would be against the modern main battle tank. Barely sure it wouldn't be that useful at all. But hey, this is a video game. Admittedly, it is taking an awful lot of bullets. Oh god, that's painful to aim. 
Right, well. I think these guys over here are firing at us, but they're like the only guys that are shooting at us. Which is okay. Are these enemies too? I guess so. Now, does that guy keep respawning, or are we actually killing him? Not sure. We're just going to keep sending God knows how many rounds until they're dead. Well, he kind of attacks us and then fucks off. I think maybe we've killed everybody apart from these uh, crisis suit people. Predator suits. Don't they call them the predator suits? Something like that. Um, this could be bad. Yeah. How many shots does it take to destroy this thing? Can we even destroy this thing? Right. Makes sense. Okay. Not 100% sure a, a, a wooden and very thinly metal skinned World War II plane would, would take out a main bow tank either for that matter. <laughs> In fact, I would put money on the fact that it wouldn't. But sure. Okay, so now we've killed like 750,000 dudes, and this really does look like a PS2 game. And as I said before, you know, if the frame rate held up, that wouldn't actually matter. But it looks like ass and plays like ass, which is something you don't really see much these days. No, we don't want the like machine gun because they're kind of pointless you're right yeah where your backup this is caraway i'm hitting the carriers now you'll have air support as soon as we can reload okay oh god oh shit we are nearing the cosmodrome gate do we not have this i thought if we don't have air support, if they've pulled off... No, we do. I was going to say, what are these guys firing at then? Yeah, and let's be fair, like World War II aircraft would have literally no chance in hell against uh, that kind of anti-air equipment. Just, yeah, just, just no. Who is shooting me? You. Okay. There's a gun over there. Oh, there's a mortar. Can we use a mortar? No. I'm actually surprised. I thought we might have been able to. Alright. Let's go. Another LMG. What's that? Oh, that's a sniper rifle. Um, nah. Nah, there's no point. Okay, you're done. Hide. Oh god, you can shoot over the sandbags, I'm guessing. Um, dude. Again with the auto cover system. Oh, I think you love it when the game decides to take you out of cover. Alright, anyone in here? Yep. Gut shot. Painful. Leg shots. Come on, open up that. Artery. There we go. Okay. I'm I'm actually genuinely curious if this game is 720p. I really don't think it is. I play a lot of Switch games in 720p and they look nice, sharp and crisp. <laughs> this does not. Oh, hello. You can see him through his shadow. His shadow glitching through the wall there. Alright. That's it. Where were you? I don't think I saw your body anywhere. Alright. Uh, let's go to work. Good old javelin missile launcher. Lovely. 
good enough. That's one way to make an entrance. Bingo. Gate destroyed. Continuing on. Continuing on, so where are they bombing next? Go, go, go. The core ain't paying us by the hour. Okay, they're still like battling out over there. You know, it's kind of like a cool idea, but yeah, I can't just imagine gunship helicopters ever getting into that kind of melee. With World War Two planes, I mean, what would be the point? The World War Two planes would just they, just... they just wouldn't even have a chance. Like, it, it's not even funny. It's just... Ugh. Why don't they just arm us with sticks and stones and, and have us overcome these, these powered suits? And I know it's a video game. I know, but... But... Come on. Ugh. Anyway, I suppose we're going in. I guess that's another yep, secret file. SDZC. Alright, cool. Well, well, well. The cosmonaut. Comrade. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Ooh. The hell is that? Oh no. This is going to be bad for the frame rate, isn't it? This is going to be really bad for the frame rate. Oh, dude. That looks like something out of, um, freaking Doom. Eh, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, but we're gonna kill it. It's too big. That's what she said. Oh, you son of! Oh God, we got we got those monkey boy things as well. All right. Uh, we're kind of doing damage. Oh Jesus, not a huge amount of damage, but we're doing some damage. Got this fucking monkey boy here. Can you fuck off? Oh god, there's a lot of them. Of course there's a lot of them. What did you expect? Whoa! I think in that 30 second blast there, we had about three frames. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 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 Everything... I'm not too worried about his weak point, to be honest, dude. His weak point is literally pelt him with RPGs. At least that's the way it seems. I think there's so much processing going on with these explosions that there's not enough CPU cycles left to run the AI. Which is fine. I'm not going to complain. Come on. Yeah, that's a miss. Can we actually hurt it with... Oh yeah! Alright, the rifle actually does a respectable amount of damage. To be honest. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we've only got three bullets left, but one problem at a time, yeah? Uh, now. If I was a big old load of ammo, I guess I would be here. Ammo me up, please. Thank you. In fact, what's the point of using the RPG? The assault rifle seems to be where it's at, to be honest. Which is fine. 
Come on, you ugly, big, flying fuck. Definitely one of the more enjoyable bosses. I've... Oh, Jesus. Apart from that frame rate. This boss isn't actually horrible. It doesn't feel completely one-sided and unfair. A little bit too easy, if anything. But then I'm guessing there's going to be a phase two to this thing. Maybe? Oh, dude. Oof. Ooh. I guess something's happening inside it? No? It was just... Blood was just... Seeping out of it with the many multiple wounds. Huh. They're dropping modern day smart weapons. Cool. I mean, sure, I guess. Oof. Peacemaker in the hands of an ex terrorist. I can't. <laughs> Freedom, justice, it's all up to you now. We're with you, brother. Just remember one thing. <clears throat> What's that? Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Oh dear, that's bad. And there ain't no way those World War II planes are going to be intercepting those. are on course for Beijing and New Delhi. Oof. Ivan, you're running out of time. What's going on with his eyes? For many generations, our ninja clan protected the shoguns. Then, after battling the new Meiji government, my ancestors escaped to the Russian Empire. But, even in defeat, there was honor. Will is strong, Ivan. But to change this corrupted world demands blood and fire. Cities will fall, and even the sky itself. <laughs> Prepare for the next launch. Right. Okay. The target is London. It's a pretty weak ass <laughs> excuse for nuking the world back to the Stone Age, but hey, cool. Every global I guess. defense system we have is down. Your only hope of stopping the missiles is to breach the Cosmodrome and get to the command center. <laughs> Heat scans show numerous hostiles inside. Ivan, good luck. All right. All warbirds return to the Independence ASAP. Bomb group, head for the airfield on Starry Brock. Ditch the Mitchells if they can't make it. That was a hell of a run, boys. Caraway out. <laughs> All right. Godspeed, Caraway. Godspeed. Oof. Oh, are we gonna finally be fighting her? What is that thing? Kill it! Oh. Shit! Where the hell are they? Where are they? Can't see them from 
shit. Right, okay. I'm not training. We have specialized. Oh, God. <laughs> They're kind of everywhere. I was going to say, it doesn't appear that anybody else can see them. Dashing, dodging, and sliding are the fundamental combat skills. Yeah, well, thus far, they haven't seemed um, essential at all. Maybe on the harder difficulties, I suppose, but then the harder difficulties in this game would just be punishing due to the frame rate, really. We're Certainly are surrounded, dude. You can see that. Oh, hello. I can't even see this thing down there. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go clean this area up. Come on, baby. Come on. Really? They've started me with a sniper rifle. Ugh. Really don't want a sniper rifle. Useless weapon. Who's growling like a fucking wild dog? Oh, hello. Alright, well, I guess he is over there. He's just dribbling. Why not? She's a katana. I haven't used that for a while. Um, yeah, let's swap that out. Uh, I guess he can't kill our troops because they're invincible. So, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Alright, so let's have a little look around the Cosmodrone. See if there's any loot. You really not? Okay, so you can smash them with bullets, but not the sword. Okay. Doesn't really look like there's much here. You go to a war museum, um, a war museum. You go to a space museum in uh, Last of Us 2 and I have to say that bit is incredible just like the detail on everything is oh, mind-bending like all the interactivity and uh, there's so much stuff you can read and learn it's really impressive and then there's well this yeah. <laughs> You'd never know that the games were like four years apart, would you? Different hardware. Yeah, true, true. Different hardware. But this game looks bad for a 360. Well, actually, no, it, it, it does. Yeah, like the textures and whatnot. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I like to believe the Wii U could do more than this. Alright, you're fucked. As are you. But then the Wii U was always like hampered by its CPU. I must admit, I did try to play Call of Duty Ghosts. So I've got that on the Wii U. I've got it on... Um, uh, yeah, Xbox. Ow! I don't know if it's the 360 version or the Xbox One version. I think it's the Xbox One version. And um, I thought, oh, as, I, as I've got it on the Wii U, I'll, I'll just give it a go. But the frame rate on it is just awful as well. And it looks like shit. But I don't know whether that was just because... You know, it's Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know how well they they were on the last gen systems. Because obviously you've got to, you've got to think that the Wii U should be compared to the 360. But I'm pretty sure you, the Wii U had a lower frame rate anyway. Okay. Yeah, I've never been a guy that's like a full-on graphics whore. Like, you know, one of my, like, favourite design systems anyway was the Wii U. I didn't care that the graphics were pretty shit and uh, not HD. 
but the games just ran smoothly on it as well. They were pretty good. Um, even from what I can remember of playing The Conduit, that was a good FPS on the uh, Wii. Original Wii. And that ran pretty smoothly from what I can remember. Even if the graphics were definitely not up to what we were used to. But this... Really, I was in the air. I had jumped off and somehow got stuck in the wall. But yeah, I mean, you know. Um, I do like a nice consistent frame rate. For me, that's the most important thing. That's what I like about PCs. You know, if you're struggling to get the performance out of a game you want, you turn the settings down. Oh, Jesus. Especially after playing Halo 2 now. Uh, 120 FPS. <laughs> Going to, to 15 is, is, not, is not enjoyable. That's my biggest criticism, I'm going to say, with this game. I, I, you know, we must be fairly um, close to the end now. Like, you know, the dialogue's rubbish. You know, the characters are rubbish. The guns are rubbish. But as a package, there's definitely like some level of fun to be had here. But it's just completely and utterly ruined by the awful frame rate. It's, it's a shame. It really is. Oh, God. Wrong button. And that's one good thing about the grenades taking forever to go off. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. More tango. They're, huge. They're huge! Why do they have chainsaws and things? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And one thing to be said about this game's artistic direction as well. It's not very uh, cohesive, is it? Is that the right word? I think that's the right word. It's all over the place. This, that, I think that's the biggest thing that makes this game... Whoa, I was getting stuck on something. Um, I think that's what makes the game feel so messy as well. Not just with the frame rate. But the fact that there's no consistency in the art direction. Which is what makes it feel like an asset flip. One of those steam green light um, kind of affairs. It looks like they've just brought several different packs of assets. And just tried to jam them in. Yeah, there's not going to be much of a nuclear war if he uh, nukes every single city in one one strike, is is there? Okay. There's got to be some ammo around here somewhere. Um, goodies. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there is no ammo. Okay. There'll probably be some around here. We do have this to fall back on. Oh my god, listen to that music, that, that alarm. That's a very generic stock alarm. No, I do not want them now. That sounds like, um... Uh, the facility alarm from 007. Goldeneye. Whoa! Like, it's just things like that where the game just literally freezes for half a second. So, why? How did they look at this and think, yeah, that, that, that's... Uh, I, I don't know what happened there. I think I was stuck on the seam on the floor. I couldn't move. I tried to dodge roll and he didn't do anything. Um... Yeah, how they actually like looked at this and thought, yeah, this is good enough. And the fact that there are actually people that defend this game, like how? Is the bar that you would accept honestly that low? I mean, they throw loads of enemies at you from around this corner. Look at this frame rate. Is it, honestly, this, this is what some people accept. For at the time, I'm sure it was sixty pounds. Oof, man, it's insane. 
And you could understand if it had a rede some redeeming features, like it had a decent, compelling story, nice upgrade system, interesting environments. Nope. <laughs> None of these things. None of these things. Oh, well, you know, maybe the, the characters are cheesy in a good way, you know, like the old 80s action movies. Nope. Nope. All right. Not even in a cute Duke Nukem style. I think that's kind of what they were going for. No place to hide here. Oh, good. Oh, good. Lovely. Fucking wonderful. Alright, let's go get some health back. Oh, where do you guys come from? I like the way your men just randomly spawn behind you now and again. It does help you out, I guess. Oof. Right. Trying to aim... Okay, I don't think that did anything, but sure. Oh, God. There we go. Just liberal amounts of bullets in the general direction. Who's still shooting at me? Oh, of course. I'd be one of these king dicks. Really? You're going to take cover there like that? All right, that's fine. Let's get the scoped bad boy out. Send as many bullets as where as humanly possible. Now, I can't remember if we covered this before as well, but uh, when you go back and look at the original footage they, they showed off to actually um, demonstrate this game way before, I think when it was still uh, coming out on everything, it was a very different game. Very different game. I know a lot of people were unhappy when they, uh... Ah, this is a better place. Yeah, they got rid of all the parkour and cool little features. So, this game obviously had a development how Cycle. You know. I mean, three engine changes. Ah, oh, where did you guys come from? Come on. Oh, my God. That was another death by frame rate there. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. A bit out of time. I actually <laughs> want to play a little bit more of this, to be honest, and honest with you. So I might just do that. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.